last, last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another video. So as you can see by the title, I'm going through the supplies that I am bringing with me to Colombia. Okay, so I did do like an initial video. If you want to check that out, you can. Out. This video, I was talking about the like you know the normal supplies you usually bring and the supplies that Colombia, specifically Dr. Pina, requires. So I am gonna go in my planner to look at the things that I wrote down. So if you want to purchase. Link in a bio or on Amazon. I will link everything down below. So I got this on Amazon, and this is just kind of like a container that carries the vitamins that I, you are, you know, recommended, which you should take as like a requirement that you have to take before surgery. So the vitamins that I have in here, it, this is like these are like my everyday everyday medication I have to take for myself, and then these are the vitamins that Dr. Pina requires or you know recommends. So the vitamins are. I wrote it down. It's vitamin D, vitamin C, B12, folic acid, bromethylamine. I don't know how to pronounce that. And then you'll need stool softener and arnica pills for after surgery because after surgery you will get constipated from the medication that they give you, like the painkillers, antibiotics, or the other the blood thinners. You will get constipated. So stool softener is really good. Don't be like me and then buy it out here. And I bought a, lax a laxative instead of buying a stool softener. But it's okay. And the arnica pills help with like swelling, bruising. Just helps you feel better. So that's the medic. That's the vitamins that I took before. They should start like a two months to a month before surgery, and then you can also continue to take it as you come. So all the vitamins are here, and these are just my regular medications that I take every day. I'm gonna show you my big duffel and some things I brought from the states, and then some things I brought out here because it was things that he told us that I find out found out from the girls. And also the nurses say like, you need this, you need this, you need this, do you have this? So it's kind of good that I'm doing the video here. Like as you can see, I'm already in Colombia. So, but it's kind of good that I'm doing the video here because me doing it here, if I would have did it before, you guys wouldn't have known about the extra supplies you may need. So you have to just keep count that you may, you will be spending extra money on supplies, tipping, tag the, paying the driver, all that stuff because the recovery house only covers a certain amount of rides, but most recovery houses do that. They only like do like pick up from the airport, take you to surgery, your initial like, you know, seeing the doctor after your follow up and then drop it to the airport, everything else in between, that's on you. So I'm gonna go through the supplies of what I brought and my duffel bag. Okay, so this is my duffel that I brought and I put some stuff in my in my, um, in my suitcase as well. So obviously the first thing you wanna bring, which I have in here is some slides, some Crocs, whatever, that's what you're mainly gonna be wearing, something comfortable, something that's just slip on. Obviously you wanna bring loose clothing, loose dresses because you're getting surgery and it's hot in here and I'm out of breath. Okay. So everything can't fit. So I did bring lipo foams. This is like what you normally would need in the States and stuff. But here they don't necessarily use them, but they will come in handy because I've seen some girls that during their recovery, like they still use lipo foams. But it's not necessary for here, but it's still, I think it was a good purchase. I still think it was a good purchase because I still think you're gonna need it eventually, but this is not recommended. Not, not like they won't, like they're against it, but they didn't really ask me to bring this, but I brought this due to the fact that this is my round two and I was familiar with what to bring the first time. So this, you will need um, compression socks, obviously, to help the blood flow in your legs, on the plane, actually to wear it on the plane and going back and throughout your whole, you know, recovery when you're staying here. And I would even continue to wear it maybe an extra week when I go back home because always good to keep the blood flow going this is something that i brought out here that i brought out here it's a 360 so it's like the lipo phones but it's already let me just open it I might as well just open it it's already like you see it's already as one so you could just put it on and you would wear this over or under your faja just to give more compression and to also, you know, just be a barrier between your faja and your skin. So this is something you will need. You, of course, will need ad boards, backboard, which I'll show you too. I got this on Amazon. I will link everything like that I bought on Amazon, everything that I've got in Colombia. So I will be real specific so you don't got to worry. So gauze, you will need a lot of gauze. I didn't really need this in the States. But here, yeah, gauze, surgical tape. I got like a bunch of this out here. Yeah, more gauze, 
like a whole bunch of gloves a whole bunch of gloves i did bring my own like um washcloths i brought three and i brought my own towel which i don't need to show you guys you guys know what the towel looks like and they do require um i have so much stuff this is like a tramadol oil which helps with when you get um you take it orally and it helps when you get your massages it's help with the, you know pain when you're getting because massages can be very 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 painful so this i recommend but this was recommended by pina 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 whatever recommended by my doctor this is what i got out here so i'll be specific in the comments arnica cream arnica gel which is very good i did buy arnica gel on amazon but then i left it in new york so i had to rebuy it again out here extra money like i said i thought i bought stool softeners but this is a laxative so you will need stool softener but the other girls are gonna just let me borrow like let me use a few of their stool softeners but stool softener or laxative because sometimes you can't get constipated during surgery so these are extra you know things that you may need because i was extremely constipated which i talked about in one of my other videos which is so crazy that video a girl a girl here she recognized my face she's like i know you from somewhere and she recognized me from youtube i did talk about that how constipated i was my first surgery like it was horrible i was crying and everything it was so hard for me to poop so here they do want you to get an enema and the reason for that is because a girl she um like poops herself during surgery and he had to stop the surgery and all this stuff because obviously like everything's now like not clean it's no longer she has poop all over the place so they had to stop her surgery she had to reschedule for a couple of days and all that type of stuff it was hectic so now he wants everybody to do an enema because just make sure you cleaned out and no poop comes out while you're doing surgery because that can just get into your lipo holes it could just be a whole mess of infections and all that stuff so bring extra money for an enema and that enema i will be using tonight because my surgery is tomorrow so yeah more gauze and then i did bring a whole bunch of maxi pads but i did not bring enough so i had to unfortunately go to the store you will need diapers too i have a whole bunch of diapers you will need to get a big pack, big pack of maxi pads. We didn't use maxi pads in the state when I did my surgery for the first time in Miami, but in here in Colombia, they do require it. I don't know if it's just my doctor or if it's just most of the Colombian surgeons, but at least for lux recovery, they want maxi pads. They put it on you to like help with the bleeding and all that stuff. So maxi pads are a must. I brought three of these um, flushable wipes, like so. Just to wipe yourself, whatever. You can do body wipes or flushable wipes, it doesn't really matter. Something just to clean up the blood, you know. It's gonna be bloody, it's recovery, so in diapers, it's just that already. And then, let me see if anything else is in here that I didn't mention. Like your, reg your regular toiletries, like, you know, soap, you know, you will need dial, like I said, antibacterial soap. So, dial is antibacterial, and there's another soap, it's called like high. One of the girls have it over there, but I'll link it down below, but I didn't buy that. But one of the girls I could borrow because you only use it before your surgery and right after you come home when you clean yourself for surgery. Like whatever the next day, whatever you shower after your surgery, you only use that that those two times. So I forgot and it was on my mind because it wasn't that important. But antibacterial soap you would definitely need. Usually that's always all across the board. Everywhere usually requires that. Anything else? Well, I have my lotion, my brushes, you know, a little perfume, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I talked about the wipes already you will need like poise pads or like doggy pads so i have some extra ones and i had one to pack for my last surgery so poise pads obviously you will need it because you will be bleeding everywhere that's like a normal everyone knows about that already and then what i did buy like i said which is not necessary you won't need this like right after at right after surgery but you may need it like down the line this helps with just extra compression you can just wrap it around you like wear your faja and then wrap this around your faja to just give more compression so i bought this on amazon so like you be seeing the girls wear it use it as like waist trainers for working out all that type of stuff but i like this because sometimes if there was a time like sometimes your faja will get loose and you always need to stay compressed so say like you have a your schedule to get your faja altered and get it like taken in maybe like in a week but you need to stay compressed Put this over your faja so something i learned from my first surgery and this is a pillow that he my doctor he recommends so the reason why he likes this is because you like this i'm gonna show y'all you 
do like this, but you have it like, you have it obviously more sticking out, but it's in the plastic. You just keep it in between your legs for like car rides. He likes this, but he likes this better compared to, he likes that better compared to um, a, what is it called, BBL, like pillow, but I still got it cause I'm gonna need it for when I'm sitting down, editing, doing work on my laptop, doing whatever work. I'm still gonna need it, especially on the plane, all that stuff. I'm gonna need this, so I still got it. But he prefers this. But this works when riding in a car. This isn't necessarily worth, I feel like. Oh, it does, you can sit on it, it's pretty, but doesn't hurt to have both. You don't wanna ruin your new butt that you got, so. So you got electro uh, electrolytes. I like to use better like um, liquid IV, which you know, like I stand by them. You can just put it in your water and it gives you like, they have different flavors, strawberry, kiwi, apple, whole bunch of flavors, like a powdery, but I recommend that. That's my go-to, but I forgot it. So had to do buy this from here in Columbia. So I got one. I don't think I should need more than one, but if I do, I'll buy more. This is a cream that the massage ladies use when they're um giving you your massages so it says like anti-inflammatory like but it says it in spanish so they use this cream i don't know why we have to buy the cream if they're doing like you know but these are some of the extra things that y'all talk about the pros and cons of getting surgery in colombia but i think especially here i'll talk about the extra expenses extra expenses and what they don't tell you like which i feel like they should but i'll talk about that in another video a urinal so a lot of the girls have urinals here too they have like the cup one which i'll show you right here you could do the cup urinal or you could buy these on amazon i see a girl over there she has one but it's just like longer like the tube here is longer so you don't have to bend and squat as much or you could do the cup ones which i think that this one is like they provide like for me so the cup one you just put it into peas and you gotta you don't gotta spill yourself or anything like that so Either one is fine because, you know, squatting and peeing, all this stuff, it could be a little, you know, hard after surgery. I made a mess in this room, but I did bring, like, just some extra, like, because I don't like to use um, towels. They do provide you with towels. They do provide you with towels, but I like to use, like, facial towels on my face. My face is sensitive, so I just bought these ones on Amazon. Just take one, clean your face. I don't want to mix, like, you know, the bloody body stuff with the face stuff. Like, I don't want to do that. Then your lipo foam for your back. So... You can buy stuff here too, but Amazon is cheaper. You just put this, I, I like this when I first got this. Mine was a little bit smaller, but you just put it on your back and it gives you that nice like arch and it helps like just define and just keep that area compressed because they will lipo, lipo it. So this one is good. And then I got, I just, I'm gonna show you my robe. A nice like, it's actually here, which I didn't think of. You should do like a lighter robe because it's hot. It's already hot here, but there is AC, so uh, this robe is fine. But you can do a light robe. I should, I should have brought my light robe and then this robe. And I just brought a new one because it may get bloody and all that stuff. And I don't really care to carry that back to the States. But I did bring sunscreen because I, I am in a hot climate. Climb, climb, yeah, climate, climax, climate, whatever. I'm in a hot area and I'm really specific with sunscreen, all that stuff. So I don't want to get burned. My body, my face, I use sunscreen. I have like a facial sunscreen and a body sunscreen. So you will be, you know, doing traveling, labs, all that stuff. So you do want to stay sunscreened up. I think that's it. So I will link everything down below. But surgery is tomorrow. I will put a vlog up. Show you my before and after body. I did take videos. If you guys want to see my body right now. I'll show you. all You know, sucking in. You see. Like, you know. So, Yeah. So here's tomorrow. I'm excited. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, see the whole the whole entire journey. And I'm gonna try to clean up because I made a mess. So bye guys.